All right, so this is ITS 410 week two. Um, we're gonna kind of go through the, the critical thinking assignment for the week. So um, got us all set up in our workbench and we're gonna log in. And you know, if you do have a way of saving that password, you can just go ahead and save it off if you wanted to, if it will let you. But I wanna remember my password. So the other mistake I'm making too is that I'm actually doing this as root, so I shouldn't be. So you can kind of see I'm kind of dinking around with this a little bit already. So we go to our schemas, we make sure that we're working in my guitar shop. And that's all you gotta do, you gotta highlight it, make sure you've got that. And then we're gonna write some query statements, right? That's all we're gonna do. Um, so the first one is select statement returns four columns from the products table. So we wanna go select, and let's make sure what we got, right? Let's make sure that my guitar shop actually matches what's going on with this. So let's go return star from, from products. Make sure I don't typo it. All right, so we actually do, we have data in there. And if you wanted to see too, you could actually just go there and kind of see what you've got as well. This will show you what all the tables are and everything else as you click on the on the thing. So we do have that. So we've got our basic logic. We've got logic that works. We've got to select everything from products. And now we wanted to see if there's a thing called, so they want us to do product code. And let's see what we got. And you notice the little from highlighted there because it was going to look like a typo there for a while. And it said, ah, error unknown product code. Did I spell it right? Nope, I didn't. So again, and this is the, the fun part is when you start typoing, always look for typos, right? Whenever you see an error like that, always look for typos. Always look for something that you, know, you weren't quite doing. All right, so we got product code. And then, so what else do we want? We want a comma and we want product name. And then we can, again, start digging through it one piece at a time. All right, now we have logic. We can link the two together just by using a comma. So we're good there. Boom. And then we want list price and comma discount percent from products. All right. So we've got product code, product name, list price, discount percent from products. And again, just kind of whacking these in. Select my columns separated by commas from products. And then whack. And then you screen cap this. That's all I need. And we're good to go. You can actually export this too if you want. Um, as a CSV and let's just go ahead. We'll drop this in desktop so that we've kind of got it and I can show you that here in a minute. I'll just save it there. And then if you do bring that up as um, what have you got? I'm going to go ahead and bring it up in Excel just because that's easy. And uh, boom, verifying it and open and eventually. Yeah. And then you could just also just drop this in as well. All right. So it depends on how you want to do it. Yeah, again, anytime you bring up a CSV, it's going to give you this possible data loss, save it in some other format. But you could just screen cap this and send it in or just highlight this, put this in your document. Um, either way, this is all the right data, so I'm good to go. So that took care of number one. We're not going to save this and not sweat it. So that was number one. So now we've got our logic, right? So we know what this thing should look like. So they want you to select a statement that returns one column from the customer's table named full name that joins the last name and first name columns, right? So that's fairly straightforward too. We'll let you work on that one. And then number three, select statement that returns these three columns from the product table. We've already done four, right? So number three, we want product name, list price, and date added. So we have product name, list price. So let's take out that one. And we want date spelling, date added. And they wanted just the name, the list price. So they didn't need code either. So we'll take that out. Product name, list price date added from product. So that would be number three. That gives us that. So we'll have you do that last, the number two on your own and try to figure that one out. But that's essentially the walkthrough of the whole thing. And as long as you do those, you've got two of the three ready to go. The screen caps, boom, or export. And throw me the screen cap that way. And that's your paper. And you'll be good to go. So I'll be interested in seeing how you guys solve number two, write a select statement that returns one column from the customer's table, name, full name, that joins the last name and first names columns, right? So joins are pretty fun. Um, and we'll have you work your way through that. Um, do feel free to give me a shout if you've got any questions. Thank you much.